here's a couple of cousins I don't get to see together very often. I offered to take Molly anywhere she wanted to go for breakfast, and, and you picked Kelly's. Oh, I am honored. Honored. Please have a seat. Thank you. Thanks, Mike. Mm -hmm. Well, are we uh, celebrating, or uh, are we all just relieved that Michael finally emailed and said that he and Christina were okay. Actually, I'll be more relieved when they come home. And so far, that's not happening. They'll be back. Jason and Sam are old hands at rescuing wayward family members, okay? Okay, so in the meantime, what can I get you two for breakfast? I'll have the usual, please. The usual, you no, got make it. Make that too, please. Make that too. I love your good manners, <laughs> and your coffee will be right out. All right, thank okay? you. Thank you. We might as well enjoy breakfast before my mother arrives because I'm going to be in some serious trouble. Well, I'll say this. You were concerned enough about the family to not only sneak out, but take a taxi to the docks, take the launch, get past Alfred all in the middle of the night. I'm actually very impressed. Thank you. And not that I would recommend you doing it again. But don't worry, I'll put in a good word with your mother. And I apologize again for being so distant in the past few months. I know that uh, you've been going through a difficult time and I'll try and be more supportive from now on. I do have one question about last night. Okay, ask me anything. Why were you out on this her wall talking to Emily when she's dead? gotten so drunk. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, God. We didn't, uh, you know, did, did we? Yeah, we did. You slipped on the bed, I slipped on the chair. And then, is that what you mean? Yeah, you know what I meant. I must have been completely plastered if I slept through the trash trucks, though. Do they drive through the alley at 3 in the morning? Yeah, you know what? There must be some kind of a pickup point or something. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, that noise used to drive me crazy. Oh, I liked it. It kind of pushed me to sleep. But I'm from Brooklyn. Bensonhurst, to be exact. Dominic Perelli. In case you, you don't remember. Uh, no, I, I remember. You're not gonna cry again, are you? What, I cried last night? Yeah, you, uh, you broke my heart. <laughs> oh, God, I'm sorry. Well, we started out at Jake's. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. You were on a mad drunk. I was just drinking. Oh, well, I don't remember. We were talking about secrets. I'm mm -hmm. for, you're against, but you didn't really ever tell me much. <laughs> Oh, God, what's that smell? <laughs> it's Kelly's breakfast. Yeah, you, you'd probably feel better if you ate something. Hey, thank you for not taking advantage of me last night. Hey, I'm a gentleman. You didn't notice? <laughs> oh, you're kind of sweet. In a completely obnoxious kind of way. Yeah, yeah, I get that a lot. That and uh, nothing else. Here we go. Blueberry pancakes, bake right. on the side, times two. Mm, thank you. Thank you. Well, of course, you, you have excellent taste in breakfast, young lady. All right. You know, it isn't fair to put yourself in danger as you did last night. Yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right. We're all under stress. But what if we all went out to the edge of our roofs and talked to invisible people? Right again. No, you're right. I was being selfish when I should have been thinking about the family, especially you. And I know that your father just moved to Los Angeles, your sister just ran away, and your mother's... Well, 
let's just say, has some major issues. So I'm glad. I'm honored that you asked for my help. Mom says everything will be all right if we just don't talk about it. Do you agree? Well, I think there's something to be said for not escalating things. But I want you to feel like that you can talk to me about anything. Do you know those people? Do me, do me a favor, will you go ask Mike for some more syrup as we over there? Certainly. But just to be clear, I already have plenty of syrup. Well, if you ever want to visit your old room, just let me know. My door's always open. I'm going to take you up on that. Wow! You didn't waste any time, did you? me. Look, we need to talk about what happened last night, because that whole kiss was a really big mistake for the both of us. But I am still your friend, and I am still worried about you. Can you call me and let me know how you're doing, please? Hey. Hi. What's up with your nickels? I mean, I left them two messages, and I got zip. What about you? Uh, nothing so far. You know, I think that this is a whole mistake telling the truth about Rebecca. It was going to be a disaster no matter when he found out. Well, Nicholas is going to need all the support he can get, so I'm thinking he has an easier time taking help from you than he does from me. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know no, about that. No, 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 no. I'm counting on you to help my brother out, so spend as much time with him as possible. Rebecca's with the messenger. I thought you said you were never going to drink anything ever again. Mm. Leave me alone. <laughs> That's the guy, right? The one you were uh, telling me about last night. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Would you do it, Chips? I mean, Lulu fell for me. You mean the night our brothers beat you? Nah, yeah. yeah. Although that's one of our brothers, too. Well, if you ever want to make him insanely jealous, I'm your man. Nicholas, you're ruining Meg's pancakes. What? Oh, no, I like them this way. Really? Mm hmm You seem angry. Nope, I'm fine. Is it because of Rebecca? It must be uncomfortable <clears throat> seeing someone who looks so much like Emily. So we excited to go back to school. You're changing the subject. You should be talking about you, not me. Actually, I'm dreading school. I enjoy the coursework and all, but the girls in my class are saying terrible things about my mother. Sorry, I know that must be difficult for you to hear. It is. I wish I could stay home all the time and have a tutor. Oh, well, you know, that's how I was educated. It gets pretty lonely, though. Yeah. You know that guy already promised to party with my mother? That would be the time. <clears throat> you buy her her favorite breakfast as a consequence for the very naughty thing she did last night actually she was she was quite helpful last night she has a gift for putting things into perspective you need to eat something i will look i gotta get going can i interest you in a fresh air stroll along the docks perhaps not a damn chance Okay, I'll take that as a no. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know I'm being very rude when actually I'm very grateful to you for being such a gentleman last night. Anytime. Am I interrupting? Molly, will you please go tell Mike how much you like his bag? And just tell me to leave, Mom. You don't have to make up an excuse. All right. I just wanted to say congratulations. Uh, you were right. I lied to Nicholas from the day I arrived at Port Charles. 